grind up some leaves, some dead leaves, make me a smoothie. Hi, Mal Pals and New Pals, and happy 15-ish minute Friday. Today's video is something that I wanted to do like a throwback. I've always done like my favorite fall lipsticks almost every year, favorite spring, summer, and all this stuff because lipsticks and lip combos and blushes, those are like my favorite things to purchase. But today I'm throwing it all the way back to MAC. These are my top five lipsticks from MAC Cosmetics for fall. And I'm going from the nudest of the nude all the way to the deepest of the deep that I like for the fall from MAC specifically. Since getting all of my makeup organized, and I will have a link below if you would like to see the tour of my beauty room and the whole process. Uh, since organizing that, I've really been able to play and rediscover my collection, like play in my collection, whatever. And I kind of have rediscovered my love for MAC lipsticks. MAC I think was my first like higher end lipstick purchase ever. I know that subculture lip liner was my first lip liner purchase from MAC forever ago. I think when I was like 18 or something like that. So I have quite the uh, fondness for MAC because it makes me feel nostalgic of when I was really falling in love with this entire community, the beauty community as a whole, and like watching YouTube and being influenced to try these types of products. If you like MAC lipsticks, I think that you will find some great lipsticks for the fall that is coming up. Very first combo. <coughs> I just choked on like air. I don't think I was breathing correctly as I was speaking. The very first combo is a classic nude combo that I like to wear in the fall. This is as light as I like to go. I feel like this lip combo is the perfect contoured nude that's like, ooh, that's a little paler than usual, but it's still not washing you out completely. That is the combo of Max Honey Love and Subculture, which is, I can't tell you how many of these I've purchased since I was 18, but I'm 32 now, so quite a bit. But this combo is wonderful because Subculture is still like a paler lip liner, but it still gives the lips some warmth. So it warms Honey Love up just enough to make it not look completely like mod. But this Honey Love is their matte formula. Max mattes, I like, it's hard to beat. Now, of course, they're not transfer proof like a liquid lipstick or anything, but if you're not familiar, they are one of the most comfortable matte formulas to me anyway, in my opinion, out there that's in a bullet type of form. But yes, MAC, Honey Love, and Subculture. I love this lip combo for fall for a nude lip that is just like pale and something different, but not too pale. Chewy, really? I get really pale in the fall and the winter, so I don't need any help. You know what I mean? But I still like a pale nude lip. The makeup wipes I'm using for my lips, I really like because they don't, it like end up making my lips burn after doing lip swatches. It's Burt's Bees uh, Sensitive Skin. So that's, that's what I'm using. And honestly, by the way, I've had this Duo Sharpener for years, maybe since I first bought my MAC pr lip products. But this duo, the MAC duo lip thing, fits so many lip liners, it's incredible. So this next lip combo, it limp. This next lip combo is MAC's Strip Down and Max Yash. I love this combo because it's almost like a nude version of what I would consider a brown lipstick. This stripped down, if you're not familiar, is beautiful on its own and you can kind of really just get a nice nude by applying this all over your lips. So it's a little bit deeper than subculture and a little bit browner, but there's still warmth in there. So you're not losing that. And then Yash is like a yellowy type of nude, very neutral. This is also their matte formula. I like applying Yash with strip down right in the center actually and not applying it all the way. And then I just take my finger. Now you have like a beautiful lighter nude brown that has like almost just like this hint of yellow, but not in a bad way. Do you guys remember uh, Self-Aware? That one's not available anymore, but that's also a really good, very different and unique. That's why I like Yash. So I wanted to include it because it is a nude that I reach for in a nude. I'm gonna say it like that. Love a unique nude, and I feel like this combo really nails it. It speaks for itself, but I think it's really, really beautiful. So that's lip combo number two. If you are looking for a beautiful nude lip combo from MAC, this will, I was gonna say do you in. Doesn't that mean like death? I don't, 
I don't know. Don't you like how it looks like like a little bit ombre? There's a little bit of poutiness there. I do. I like it. The next lip combo is Max Hover and Max Down to an Art. I love this lip combo. This Hover lip pencil is on its last leg, but Hover is like world's warmer sister. But I like using Hover too with like a redder lipstick to kind of neutralize it a little bit. Ooh, girl, I got that outside of the lines. Down to an Art is also a matte. We're really going down the matte path today. But this is like the perfect you want something a little warmer and deeper than a nude you still want it to be a little understated for fall this is the, the lip combo do you imagine this with like a really pretty ivory thick cable knit sweater you know and you're going and maybe you're still wearing like slides or something you know your toes are still peeking out but you're getting coffee in your round frame glasses that's the story of this lip combo. I really love it for fall. Still, like I said, very understated, but very, since you've got that like nice warmth with hover, it really gives it that fall feel, you know? It's like, ooh, is it chilly outside? No, I'm just wearing this lip combo. Two more. All right, the next one. So this is Max Chestnut, which is a very deep, 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 kind of dark, warm brown. So I go pretty light-handed with this because you could end up looking too like duo tone 90s. Okay, so that's chestnut. And then right over that, can you even believe it? We have a different formula other than the matte, which is the amplified formula, which is one that I really like because it is pigmented, yet it's moisturizing. And this is the shade Double Shot, which is a brown, literally a coffee brown. And it goes so well with chestnut. Like Harry Tuck, I do this. Obviously, chestnut and double shot. It's like kind of a bold, a bolder statement for the fall, but it's so pretty. Like with minimal eyes, like I have on right now, I love like a monochromatic situation, and that is what this is giving me. I wish it was fall right now. It's not. It's August, but we'll get there, and we'll probably wear the same look. But chestnut, double shot gorgeous you could even do strip down with double shot and not make it as deep i have some flax milk in here but it's like literally you can't see my coffee anyway i was gonna compare it but if i'm drinking like a black cup of coffee i feel like this is what it looks like love it unique i feel like all of these combos are super unique for fall you know i'm not just giving you the nudes today girl but let me know what is your favorite like bold move to make in the fall to me dark browns and like deep wines are my favorite to do in the fall because you can just like really get a pulled together look without wearing too much makeup you really just have to make one decision and that is put on a deep brown or a deep wine shade in my opinion do you see the amplified formula it's super like almost like you have a gloss on but super pigmented not not sheer like the cream sheens at all my my lips are hurting a little bit but that's okay another thing that's really hard with like lip swatches is after you've done this so many times, it gets red around your mouth. So then you're like, I'll line where the redness is. And I'm like, oh, that's not my lip line. You'd think if I knew I was gonna do a MAC lip swatch video with all of the lip pencils, you would know that I would need to sharpen them. But do I prepare? Absolutely not. So this next uh, unprepared lip combo is <laughs> MAC's lip liner in red. You know what? I'm missing some MAC lip liners, like oak, half red. Anyway. So Max Red, this also looks really good with another red that I love for like the summer, which I need to pull out, which is Lady Danger. Almost forgot to say the name of the lipstick. That is Marrakesh. I feel like this is such an underrated uh, red kind of jewel toned, like almost like a garnet. So that's why I like to use uh, Max Red. And this is the, another, <laughs> matte formula but max red really livens up marrakesh if you feel like it's too brown on you or too brickish and this is the last and final here we go lip combo for fall that i love which is max red and marrakesh which you can kind of see how max red lip liner kind of highlights the outer part of the marrakesh so it kind of really pulls your eye to the outer part of the lip and really makes it pop and if i were to wear marrakesh by itself still beautiful but it might like kind of like deaden the look so that's why i like this combo so much for a red for the fall and oh my god the 
this co color combo, honestly, that I'm wearing today is just like really giving it to me, you know what I mean? Like, just like grind up some leaves some dead leaves make me a smoothie. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite matte combos are. Really, in general, it doesn't have to be for fall. I miss like using MAC lipsticks and my MAC products, which I need to dig in there and play a little more. But MAC was one of the first high-end brands that I fell in love with when I got into makeup. So this was super fun and super nostalgic to me. And I would love to continue the conversation about MAC lipsticks. You know, it gives us all a good reason to shop, to, uh, you know, just bring back those old school makeup vibes here on YouTube and in general, Let's bring some innocence back to this app, to this website. Um, anyway, that is all for this 15 minute-ish Friday. Who knows how long this is gonna be, but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave that comment below. Or do you hate MAC lipsticks? I don't know who does. I don't know if you do. I don't know if we could ever be friends, so. You guys remember all of the all of the threads and spectra and we were all like really excited about all these mac launches and like all the mac lipsticks and like mac just like did so much unique stuff back in the day and that's why i'm so glad i got to talk about my unique fall favorites from mac today okay i'm gonna stop fangirling over mac lipsticks let you guys go and i will see you uh in sunday's vlog goodbye all right Thank you.